As you're driving in your SUV or whatever car you drive, you might see grooves on concrete roads. Or you at least feel them, right? <laughs> if you're driving over those bumps. Traffic expert Jason Luber joining us now. Jason, a viewer wants to know, and I kind of want to know too, why are the grooves there in the first place? Well, the grooves, like these grooves right here that you might see on the concrete surface, uh, well, it's um, going to help you out a whole lot. I'll just explain why in just a second. It's Jackie from Longmont who writes, what's driving you crazy? Why do they put grooves in concrete roads like where I live on Highway 66 to Lyons and Highway 287? Seems like it not only throws the cars around, but wears our tires out more quickly. I can't see that it helps with ice or heavy rain, only makes it worse. Just the opposite, Jackie. Those main, the main reason for those lines is actually to help with water drainage. Now, concrete, for all practical purposes, is a non-porous substance when it comes to rainstorms. So the grooves help disperse some of that rainwater on the road, helps it dry out faster. Asphalt or blacktop, it's more porous than concrete and has a higher capacity to absorb water, so there's really no need for the grooves. What the grooves do is make the water turbulent when you drive over them. It's the same principle on tires, and it's why it's so important to have good tread. And those grooves in the concrete were first started as a solution to a problem NASA engineers needed when landing the space shuttle on a wet runway, saying they actually help with minimizing hydroplaning on runways. And now many airports and highways have these grooved areas and grooved pavement. I spoke to senior project engineer for the city of Miramar, Florida, a city that uses a lot of concrete for roads and receives a lot of rain about the effectiveness of these lines and if they do wear out your tires more quickly or not. You can read about that part of the story right now on the DenverChannel.com. You just go to the DenverChannel.com, look at Denver 7 traffic on the left side menu, and then driving you crazy. Very scientific. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Jason.